I was asked to be the technical director and designer for a kids production of The Wizard of Oz in New York City. We used the lights we had available. We couldn't even make a gobo wash. We did have some sets the kids painted, fog machine, and the chameleon scrim. So the rest I had to make up as I went along. The director and I augmented the painted sets by projecting digital backdrops on the scrim, using images and video loops I created, and even some clips from the 1939 film that we took from the Blu-ray edition. Well, here's a little message for the girls. See that she gets it! Then we had two more projectors, one to handle what would have been the gobo wash, which I could then animate. The director wanted this Balinese puppet effect, as well as silhouetting some of the actors, and I was just out of conventional lighting units. But more importantly, I wanted to use it to bring a, the actual Wizard of Oz to life. For this go-around, we had the actor standing off stage and did a performance capture of him using a camera and a program called Modulate. So you had the actor's live performance being affected in real time, projected onto the scrim, along with the digital scenery that was cut up there from another projector. Of course, we had a lot of lighting cues, using every working instrument and dimmer we had, as well as a load of stereo sound effects, and mics for the wizard, and some other things. So I used a program called QLab and automated the entire show. One go button would fire audio samples and one video projection, send MIDI controls to the light board to launch a cue, and also send MIDI commands over the network to two other computers and projectors. It would even control and fade iTunes, which was running the pre-show music in a playlist. I could even time and layer audio samples to create a whole new sound. And I could also time each performance from blackout to curtain call. There's no way we could have run a show with this kind of precision without having something like QLab and a bank of Macs. <laughs> 